Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for the second week of Eternity of Pain Depression and today I have a quick how-to guide on what I think is the easiest solo option for this Nick Fury and that's Kitty Pride. So Kitty Pride satisfies the offensive burst objective this week. She doesn't need to be awakened for this but it really does help and you can play a lot more loosely if she is. Now there are a few ways that you can play this fight. One of them is just to use no specials, keep max prowess the whole time, which is going to give you guaranteed phases throughout the entire fight. However, I wanted to go a little faster, so I ended up using the special three first to build up my temperature. And then after the special three, you are guaranteed to be phasing again, so you can immediately go in and start rebuilding that prowess. So while my temperature increases, I start to look for a good opportunity to use my special two for that big damage. And when I say good opportunity, I mean that I was careful to only use the special two when I knew that it would take him over two bars of power. And this would ensure that I would have several chances after his special two to rebuild my prowess and get that phase back. If you don't do that, you lose your prowess and then you take a special one, it's going to be pretty painful. So the best part about Kitty in this fight is that you can more or less play it normally and if he does toss that special one while you're phased, you're going to take no damage if she's duped and then gain a decent amount of power and if he crits you're just going to gain even more prowess and more phasing. If you do lose your phase at any point, don't panic, you can always hold block, bait out a heavy from Nick, and then work on pushing him back up to that special two. And then meanwhile you'll heal from the disorients and when you're phasing again, you'll heal from any bleeds you triggered while hitting into his block. I know it's weird to say this, but for an Eternity of Pain fight, this one with Kitty was actually one of the easier ones for me. I think this was only my third attempt, and I uh, ended up finishing with a full yellow bar. Kitty is extremely safe for this fight, and I think you'll get an easy objective done uh, if you go in with her. So hopefully this helped you, and if it does, please hit that like button. Stay tuned for more videos later, and as always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.